I'm Pastor Steve, and I want to talk to you just a little bit about the history of the various translations of the Bible. The Old Testament is primarily written in Hebrew, and Hebrew is a language that is used currently in Israel. Uh, it is taught in every synagogue in the United States. And you can learn it in a university. Most universities will offer an introductory Hebrew class or seminaries in particular will teach Hebrew. That's the Old Testament. The Old Testament was also translated into Greek. And that Greek translation, this was done in the 300s BC. This Greek translation is called the Septuagint. That's the Greek version of the Hebrew Old Testament. Then there is the New Testament, which was written in Greek. Now, in around the year 400, 410 CE, a great Roman scholar whose name was, was um, Jerome, Jerome, St. Jerome, translated the Old Testament and the New Testament from the Hebrew and from the Greek into Latin, thus creating a, uh, a Bible called the Biblia Sacra Vulgata, the Book Holy Vulgate, the Vulgate Bible. It is far and away the best translation I've ever seen. It is eloquent. It is accurate, meticulously accurate. You can see where Jerome has gone through and struggled with every word to get it as correct as he can in the late Latin of his day. It was used for more than a thousand years, about 1600, almost 16 centuries by the Roman Catholic Church. It's an amazingly great translation, neglected by Protestants who don't want to use it because they don't want to be like associated with the Roman Catholic thing. Happens to be a fantastic translation. Well, coming up into the Reformation in the 15 and 1600s, a variety of different scholars, starting in the 1300s with Wycliffe, going through Tyndale and others, translated the Bible into English. Then, in the time of King James, in order to tamp down what had become a, a terrible British religious civil war, uh, King James authorized, in 1611, the printers of the realm to produce the Bible in English, and that came to be known as the King James Bible. Excellent, literary, eloquent, a little difficult for moderns to read, and interestingly, it is mostly a translation of the Vulgate, more of the Vulgate used as the base text than either the Hebrew or Greek originals because the manuscripts were not in good order at that time and they didn't have as much knowledge of either ancient Hebrew or ancient Greek. Then, coming up into the 20th century, just after the Second World War, a committee of scholars gathered and produced the RSV, Revised Standard Version. It was a committee translation. It's the best common English translation I know of. I still use the old RSV as a base text to read the scriptures from every Sunday. And then, as English changed in the last uh, 70 or so years, we came to the NRSV, the new RSV. Now, you also have uh, the, the new international version. It's fine. You have uh, a variety of other common translations that are available. The translations are all done fairly carefully. Um, and fairly accurately, and so you're, you're not really going to go astray with the wrong translation. 
what you want to do is find a Bible that works for you and read it. I'm Pastor Steve. There's more information on my website, pastorsteve.faith.